So what happened in Genesis chapter 3 and Genesis chapter 4 is we see that certain individuals, Eve, Adam, Cain, took on the character of Satan and denominated themselves to him. So the act of naming, a name or appellation, that's what denomination means, a vocal sound customarily used to express a thing or a quality in discourse, as all men fall under the denomination of sinners, actions fall under the denomination of good or bad, a class, society, or collection of individuals called by the same name as a denomination. So giving names to, we're supposed to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And we're supposed to go and baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost because the scripture says that all power is given to Jesus Christ. And you'll find that all power in heaven and earth. And you find that in Genesis or sorry, Matthew chapter 28. So a denomination is the act of naming. Well, God has named us, and when you follow Satan, as they did in Genesis chapter 3, you're not obeying God. Or as in Genesis chapter 4, when he made up his own way of sacrificing, he denominated himself. He made his own denominations. We're supposed to follow the authority of God's word. So we're going to look at a few words. With that being said, we're going to look at the word Shem. Now, Shem, right here, we see, means... This is the word Shem. We see it means a position, appellation, honor, authority, or character. Do you get your honor from God? Do you honor God? Or do you honor man in the arrangements they make for themselves, their own denominations? They divide themselves, which we're not supposed to be divided by making up their own word, ways of naming. That's what denomination means, to name completely. It comes from day, complete, and nominate to name so people make up their own denominations as we see in genesis in chapter chapter 11 when it says they made up their own they said let us make us a name well that's the word shim so they made up their own authority their own character and we're going to look up that greek word character here which means a graver the tool or the person, the figure stamp, that is the exact copy or representation. Now when you make up your own word of God, which isn't God's word, it's just your own imagination, you have this stamp in the character of the beast, which is the dogma, and having the approval of dogma from kings. So, we don't go to man kings, we go to God, because God is king. Now the equivalent of Shem uh, in the New Testament is Onoma, so it says authority or character. We saw over here, Shem says authority or character. Oh, sorry. Okay, so right here, so it says for all a, for all that a name implies of authority, character, rank, majesty, power, excellencies of everything that the name covers of the name of God as expressed expressing his attributes so we saw over here denomination means the name so they make their own characters honors and